we sometimes do. Neil Farrell has always dreamt of owning a restaurant, but in three years since he bought the glass house, his dream has turned into a nightmare. He's deep in debt, so many people are after him for money, that he's turned his mobile phone off. He could go mad, and he may even go bust. When it's your own place, and it's your own money, mm. and you're, you're the one that's, you know, or yeah. walking the tightrope. Yeah. It's 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 very it's very different, yeah. and that's my problem yeah. that we haven't we haven't worked out which road we're taking. No, no, sure. At least he's had the sense to call me in for help. But if Neil's going to pull this one out of the fire, he's got to take some tough decisions. I can't do that for him, but of course I can encourage him. First stop, the kitchen, to see if the chefs know what they're doing. The head chef's 37, like me. He trained at Claridge's before my time. He's on 25 grand a year, so he'd better be good. About the same amount as you did uh, the other day. Until he says I can call him Gordon, he's Mr. Ramsey. Harry Ramsden? He, he thinks that there might be some confusion with Harry Ramsden's. First, I need to watch him cook and see how he runs his kitchen. Everyone's nervous that they're going to call him Mr. Ramsden. <laughs> Morning. Mr. Ramsey, extremely pleased to meet you. Likewise. First name? Richard. Richard. Where do you think it's going wrong? It's a very Truthfully. difficult question. We've been a bit ahead against many a time. What we're doing wrong is should we turn it, turn it into a pizzeria? Is that what people want? It's got to the stage now where I just feel it ain't working and I'm questioning my ability. To control his team and inspire them, the head chef's got to believe in himself. Ready? Otherwise, cloths, forget it. Two cloths. Check Caesar salad, battered salmon. <laughs> Hello. Jack, suit, pork, no communication. Bacon, Not a dicky follow. bird. No one even answers the head chef. No, no fucking Bad feedback. News. No, no, we chef. No. Nothing. I have to ask for it. Oh, you have to ask for it. Nine times out of ten. Craig, you're not lost for words, are you? No, not at all. Big hard man like you. We are in. How's it going? Time to test Richard's cooking. I thought what would be a nice thing to do, um, just for today, was to go upstairs and have a quick bite to eat. For yourself, do yeah, just in your hands. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna cook for me. You choose your favourites, your specialities. Yeah. I want three duck cake pudding in. He's no, not no. having those, he's having four fresh ones. Yeah, no. Of which he's going to eat two. Richard's proud of his duck cakes with chilli jam. Exotic? No. Pretentious crap. They look like Scotch eggs. <laughs> Big camera's bollocks. And someone's been very lazy in the kitchen. Cos they've got a bloody bone. Mm. Mm. So, I'll save that one for later. <laughs> Another of his favourite combos, braised lamb shank with parsnip crisps. It's very clumsy. Clumsy cooking and lazy elements. The oil on these stink. But it has been changed about three or four weeks. The whole meal would set you back nearly 30 quid. Way too much. Here you go. The food was disappointing. Sadly, I did choke, obviously, salt the law, but that was um, stuck at the back of my throat. But however, you know, I'm glad it was me, not a paying customer. A restaurant owner's best investment will always be in the chef. And if you haven't got that sort of major asset downstairs in the kitchen, then forget it. The guy's got to be a motivator, he's got to be a leader, he's got to make you money, he's got to bring customers back. And clearly, from what I've seen so far, Neil hasn't got that in Richard. That's pretty obvious. Next job, to see how Richard runs his brigade on a busy night. Good head chefs get the best out of their team, no matter what. Ian was a waiter but got bored serving food, so now he's trying to cook it instead. Ian's girlfriend, Claire, only works here part-time, as the main job is running a bookshop. I suspect she's only here because she's going out with Ian. Got wild animals that have nibbled at it, but nothing. Randall, the kitchen porter, thinks we're related because we're both from Scotland. Bollocks. Richard, do you taste this? Yeah. Craig? Craig's in year two at Catering College. He looks pretty clueless to me, but let's hope he proves me wrong. A good team will always turn out good food, in, whatever please. the pressure. Three it's one of the busiest nights of the year, Saturday at half term. So it's a perfect test. Oh, what is that? 
There are 106 customers booked. If they're happy, they'll spend an average of 30 quid each, plus wine. And the glass house will take over four grand. But their biggest problem is coping with lots of orders. Fucking dumb fucks upstairs are up. That's what's with their arses. It's a second fucking call away from non-existent table. Might as well. kitchen. Neil did tell me, when the pressure's intense, the kitchen collapses into chaos. And you know what? It's true. Someone answer me, someone have a look in the oven. He ends up giving meals away. Things soon go from bad to very ugly. No, it's not fucking all right. Do our hotel, yeah? Wow. That's for the fat. Someone said it was horrible. It hasn't been trimmed. Fat. It's fat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Take it to Richard. Jay, get on the phone now. Find out where this fish was going. See if that's where it's going. The whole thing's gone pear-shaped. Everyone's running around like headless chickens, um, eye off the ball, and um, just a massive breakdown in communication. Fucking partridge, you've... Oh. I need a bigger piece of sea bass, do you? Give a side door that's gone up needs to come back, and that needs to be cooked some more. Do you want this fucking partridge yeah. cooking that's more? Sweet. For fuck's sake. Oh, I need yeah. another partridge, Claire. Randall, have you just been reading the right check? It's really grim. My apologies, Chef. 36 have had their status. We've had the order in for 40 minutes? Yes. I'm glad I'll say. That's not good enough. Where's that big check? Where's the big check? You break your fucking balls and you really go for it. And you, and do you know what? I'm fucking why. Restaurant rescue. I'll tell you how you can rescue me, restaurant. Fucking buy it off me. Fucking buy it off me, mate. And you'll do me the biggest fucking favour you could. <laughs> I think someone's about to piss his pants. I think it's just gone there. I've been at the Glass House restaurant in Ambleside for just a day. From what I've seen so far, it's going to be bloody hard to turn this place around in a week. A month, possibly. But now it's inquest time. And there's no question where to start. That cocky chef. Left, please. Yeah. 11 chips. It was going well. Huh? Ten past nine. I went outside, um, had a quick chat with customers, and all of a sudden I started seeing this food coming back. Huh? Where do you think it broke down? You're not using the guys properly. But the guys just fucking let go as normal. The things were coming down, they, they just went fucking chaotic. Say every fucking Saturday we've ever done was exactly the same. Maybe I just shouldn't give a shit. Maybe I should just say, fuck you, give us your money, thanks very much. Then it wouldn't bother me and I could go home and it wouldn't matter if I've got a shit restaurant because there's loads of them out there and the owners are driving around in bloody Porsches. I'm driving a shitty Astro van and I'm fucking close to tears. Do you know what? I think Neil would rather throw himself in Lake Windermere than actually turn around and be the bad guy with his staff. Yeah. It's not all kitchen's fault, but, um, you know, the kitchen's the engine room. Yeah. Hi, oh, Richard. Yeah, if we're not firing all pistons, then we're not, you know, on the ball. Craig. Yeah? Come here. Elderberry on one. Yeah, come in. The chef's answering you a question. What was his question? The question was, what happened at 20 past nine? Where did we go? We were fucking motoring. You look like a sack of shite. Well, at least I have the bollocks to apologise to him. Yeah. He's standing there bawling his fucking eyes out. Yeah, take your fucking hat off. We've hit rock bottom. Don't get upset. Huh? Hey. I'm telling you, I don't want you to get upset. The team will need a real boost if we're going to get back on track. It was all going so fucking well. But there's still some problems to tackle. It's my second day in the Lake District, trying to save the Glass House restaurant. And I tell you what, it's an uphill struggle. Next battle, hygiene. 
This place is about as clean as a puppy's litter tray. This secret film was taken last week. They knew I'd sent someone to check around, but they didn't know it was Mark Sargent, my head chef at Claridge's. And they didn't know he had a camera hidden in his hat. Yeah. Yeah. Plastic containers. They instantly tell me the food's not as fresh as it should be. Even the head chef's not sure. Rather than you than me, mate. This kitchen is filthy, straight from the dirty floor into the pesto. It's supposed to be a kitchen, not a building site. <laughs> Gordon's going to have their bollocks with this. Morning. Let's go. Jesus, look at the shit on the Is that clean every night? The cardinal rule of cooking. Your kitchen must be clean. And by clean, I mean spotless. The normal clean down, which is what, every Saturday night after service? We do it throughout the week. But you must have one big clean in the week, no? Just don't have the time. Randall, don't bullshit. It's not bullshit. At the end of the night, the last thing I want to do is look up. <laughs> end of the night. Mate time. Clean kitchen, clean food. Lazy kitchen porter, P45. <laughs> Randall. <sighs> but it's not just up to the kitchen porter. Everyone should be responsible. But they're not. <sighs> You've got to trust the brigade that you pay. And secondly, yeah. um, you know, bring them on, evolve them, make them talented, yeah. keeping hold of them, motivating them, um, evolving them, increasing their responsibilities, working on them. Let me think how much time we spend together in the kitchen all day long. Yeah. Uh, it's like a second family, isn't it? It's exactly that. What we spend, it's the first time because we spend yeah. more time together in the kitchen than we do at home with our bloody families. Nothing more I can do till they finish. Time for Neil. I do wish he'd turn on his mobile phone, grow some bollocks, and act like a bloody boss. There are too many customers to cope with on Saturday nights, but the rest of the week, the place is deserted. That's partly because no one can find it. When I walked past for the first time, coming down here from the right-hand side, I had no idea where the restaurant was. Yeah. And here, we should have a nice, prominent sign. Right. Glass house restaurant, yeah. with a menu board, beautifully lit, and whether you want to put some little bloody neon lights or nice fancy lights around it is an attraction. Right. And, and, and that lit, see that sign there? Yeah. The glass house. Yeah. And with a new logo and the new printing, just something that, you know, um, speaks value. Right. Yeah? Because um, it, looks, it looks too comic-y. It doesn't even say we're a restaurant, does it? No, it doesn't say you're a restaurant, no. Exactly. I want to see a bloody telephone number on there. Caesar salad, salad yeah. um, duck cakes. Now for the menu. Jam, a well-written menu uh, should bodies. entice customers inside. Yep. At best, yep. okay. this one is confusing. At worst, it's just bizarre. I don't want to read popcorn, garlic where, popcorn. Where the fuck did that come from? So something, the vegetarians always say that they've got no, there's no crunch or no body in any of the dishes. They've got they no have. palate. What are you worrying about <laughs> a vegetarian for? Yes! For God's sake, vegetarianism <laughs> is on the decline. Um, lunch menu. Two starters, two main courses, and two puddings. Yeah, I'm just wondering how many people are going to come in for yeah. a two-course lunch. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to look at the menus of the two courses, and if that's hearty, rustic, country-fied food, then trust me. Because I know you don't want to let go of the sandwiches, and I totally understand. I want to let go. I just don't want to let go of the revenue. I serve sandwiches. I've yeah. got no problem serving a lobster roll, suckling pig sandwich. Yeah. I've got no problem... Uh, um, uh, a beautiful um, beef sandwich. Mm. I've got no problem serving sandwiches whatsoever. Okay, guys. Craig? Yeah. Open mackerel sandwich. Work down. Good man. Like the season? With a That's clean it. kitchen, we can improve the food. Good. And I can find out exactly how the team works. Time flowers. Gently now, because they're very, very, very fine. And then, Craig? Yeah. yeah. Taste it. There's your spoon. Craig looks scared stiff of making think. a mistake. He'll have to More change salt. that if he wants to be a chef. Less salt. We haven't put in, yeah. Up, uh, salamand. Yeah. If it's not a hot pan, what happens to the fish in the pan? <coughs> it won't cook. Yeah, well, not only that, it's smart, but it'll boil, so we've got no colour on it. Two more around the outside, one in the centre. Ian's got and some bad the habits, the top, but he's only been cooking for three months, and I think Where's he may make it one mango? day. I actually know when to turn over. How do you know? The whole thing's changing colour, and it gets halfway. What does that mean? Turn it over. Turn it over, yeah. exactly. But we're just going to finish it on the bottom. Okay. Good. Good question. You're a very, very good cook. Yeah? 
don't know. Anyone ever told you that before? This restaurant is going to be better than the BLT. Yeah. Up. Up. And over. Good. Randall, how's your sandwich? It's like a cat that's got the cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> no? Different from a BLT? That's better than a BLT. Yeah. Not as good as a Big Mac. Not as good as a Big Mac. <laughs> 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 oh, brain, you know that. In a well-run kitchen, everyone makes a contribution. But Richard hasn't even asked his team what they think the problems are. Craig, what's your um, weak point in the kitchen? This is when I get a lot of orders on. I, I don't have them in front of me, so I, right. like, they get shouted out once, and then I have to probably check the ticket again. Put it together in your own mind, then just jot it down. Saturday nights are quite hard when all the checks are coming on, mm -hmm. and I do kind of lose where I'm at and how yep. many steaks I've got on order and how many. Mm -hmm. well, yep. When it goes quiet, it's mm -hmm. kind of like... It's difficult to motivate yourself. It's That's difficult. That's what Richard said, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Randall, is that your third one? Sorry. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> Jesus. Neil's finally agreed to a new lunch menu. Simple, fresh food for a tenner, including the new mackerel sandwich. That's We've just had a taste of each yeah. other's as well. <laughs> this is excellent. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. At oh, last, some happy customers. We've got a restaurant full of happy people. Fantastic. Chive, small amount. Ian, treat it with a bit of love and care. Place it in there gently, yeah? yeah. And you don't throw it in. My God, the kitchen suddenly sounds as if it's running well. One salmon, one sausage. Yeah. Wait. Check. Random. Sweep the floor, please. Done it already. You've done it already. I've well, it's still done. Yeah. I want to sweep it. Flour everywhere, yeah? And I didn't see you do it anyway. What time was that? What time was that? Uh, when you're done your embracing just here. It's dirty. Let's go. Nice sweep. There you go. Claire, can you let me know when that front is happening? Yeah. Well, three minutes, Claire. Three Fantastic. minutes on the front. Within 30 seconds, every section of the kitchen is talking to one another. Good. Everyone in the team's responding, but Richard's not working with them. Do you want him to help you? I'm putting the sausage under. Uh, man, no, that's all I've got. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is what I want to get established. Quiet lunch, not really that busy. I just want to see us working together even more now. I know there's nothing for you to do right now, but there's... Yeah? yeah? yeah. I know it's painful, but get him doing something for you. Please? Yes, yeah. Thank you. And you? Hey. Oh. Ask yeah. him. Can I do anything for you, Richard? Yeah. What do you need doing? Okay. Sausages, where are they? Mash, red onion sauce, what can I do? Yeah. I want to bring the brigade together. Even Richard said to me, the guy that's got no man management skills, he's been watching you and the way you are with the guys, yeah. and you're bringing out the best in them. Yeah. You're bringing out the hunger. That's what you pay him 25 grand a year for. I know that. I'm not, I'm not being funny or pissing yeah. around with 25 grand a year. Is I know. a lot of money. But I've been stupid with them. I've been cradling them. My head was too far up my bloody ass to realise what the hell was going on. Neil needs to get his head out of his ass and focus on his job, keeping customers happy and making sure they spend their money. The roasted pepper and tomato gazpacho. He needs his customers to bypass the cheap early supper menu that runs till 7:30, and eat à la carte, and that's how he'll pay off his debts and rebuild his reputation. Let me just tell you something. 15 portions of apple cake, 15 portions of fondant, and 15 portions of bloody gratin dauphinoise. Five nights a week is £125,000 a year turnover. Mm. Hey, on three items out of nearly 20 on a menu. Yeah? Um, the last table just arrived. Said they were early, 15 minutes early. So I want to make sure that Neil doesn't give them the early supper menu because. We're going to find out whether or not they're here for a bargain or not. I want to sell the a la carte, not the cheapo menu, because they look like they've got a bit of money. Now, you've got two menus on today. You've got the a la carte menu, and we've also got the early supper menu. Uh, so you've got lots to choose from. Table, ooh, that table just arrived and said they're really early, 20 minutes early. They're booked at 7.30, mm. so therefore, don't give them the cheap menu. The table of four? Yeah, just sat down. Right. What did you give them? I gave them both. Yeah, damn. Will he never learn? Neil must work the tables, not worry about the kitchen. If he only focused, you'd do a fine job. Do you know what? You are a phenomenal salesman. You got the most amazing wine cellar. And you can take an order, you can take an order, and you can cane it on the wine. And the better the food, the more money they're going to spend on wine. After three days, things are looking up. The guys upstairs are starting to get the basics. But my big worry is the kitchen. 
Richard just isn't earning his 25 grand. I'm really sorry for saying it, but the guy showed no form of inspiration, so if he's not inspired, you know, these young guys are going to dwindle away. That's your little kingdom, yeah? Control it. It's the biggest problem in the glass house, but Neil just won't face the facts. I'm going to have to show him how well the kitchen can run without his head chef. Don't take this the wrong way, but I want you to take the night off tonight. And I want you to take the night off. Now, I'd love both of you to have dinner together. Right. Don't you? have to eat here, do we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dots it is. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. When was the last time you guys had dinner together? Truthfully, without any bullshit. We went to Guelph about two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, hello. <laughs> two and a half years ago. And when was the last time you sat in it here? No? Never done it. Can we do it? Yeah, we can do it. Thank you. There's only one condition that this takes place. The kitchen downstairs don't know about it. And I need a bit of support from you guys as well. No yeah? Because it'd be too exciting. I've sent Richard home. The team may not yeah. be up to this. He's and if it goes home. wrong, I may look a right Crazy. tosser. Yeah. 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 Uh, we had an absolute nightmare night last night. I left you together for two hours and it was the biggest shithole in Britain. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to rectify that. Yeah. You're on the hot plate. You're going to be running the kitchen. OK? And then, if it's going really well, I want you to run the kitchen for half an hour. And God forbid, <laughs> if it is going that well, yeah, scratch your head, scratch your bollocks, I'm not interested. I want you to run the kitchen yep. for half an hour. Yeah? Right. Maybe from 1.30 to 2 o'clock in the morning, I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's just really work for each other. Yeah. Let's not lose the plot. And let's show him, your chef, that you yeah. guys uh, are more talented than he believes. You are. Yeah. Okay. Homemade yeah. notes. Yeah. Tell you what. Why don't you? Thank you. Why don't you host the meeting? Yeah. Claire, two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Me. I'm shutting up. Okay. You host the meeting. Mm -hmm. You call the shots. Right. Soup. Got soup. Pumpkin. Pumpkin soup. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, it's, it's, it's on your section. Mm -hmm. Fish pie with peas. We've got twelve, and we've got one more downstairs. Need beef. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Suckling pig. How long? Comes out in the oven in about eight minutes. Okay, that's fine. Apple and almond cake. Yeah, sorry. Pretty good. Okay, really well done. Yeah, little pen on the back, not a little kiss though. It's perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Right. We're going to be okay, and we're going to prove to them, especially Richard, that we can do it without him. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Okay, Claire. Yeah, no worries. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Table 37 has arrived, and it's gone 7.30, so they'll definitely get the a la carte menu. Yeah. Two lamb, one salmon, yes? Basket salmon, I'll do the salmon. Cheers, mate. Hi. Cheers, Cocker. I can only pray that Neil tastes the difference in the food. Then over a nice glass of wine, he can give Richard what for. In the centre of the cutter, think about what you're doing. Don't rush it. Craig, what are you doing? Labeling this tub. How about looking at the food and show a little bit of interest what you're doing? Okay. P, leek tart, a little bit of asparagus, and just glaze that round. Thank you very much, sir. This is fucking amazing. Try putting that tart. No, that's not. Try some. <laughs> if you don't eat that soon, mate, I am. <laughs> Told you I've had a sexual experience downstairs in the kitchen for the last three, four days. Well done. Well done. Salmon. Don't send it, Randall. Don't send it. Salmon, salmon. Yes. Salmon. Watch the hot Thank fat. Thank you. Oh, really good. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Good, 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 good. I'm okay. bloody good. Randall, away at table 34, please. When he's gone, are you going to be able to instill what he's instilled in the room? He is now in charge of the kitchen, everybody. Right, right. <laughs> How many lemon order in, please? One lamb, one roast pig, one day from where. Good. You've got to sustain it now, forever. No, no. Do you know what I mean? I am shitting myself to produce this food. I am really, really fucking scared. But I'll die trying. You're a lot better than last night so far, yeah? I'll say. <laughs> yeah? Um, is that not because? Richard's not here. 
Okay, I'm not going to say anything. What do you mean I'm going to say? We won't have a job if we <laughs> say that. <laughs> well, let me ask you. You've got a pair of bollocks. Has it gone well without Richard? It's gone smooth. <laughs> <laughs>I mean that. Well done. You're responsible for that food. Neil oh, looks delighted, but has he had the bollocks yeah. to read Richard yeah. the riot yeah. act? No, seriously, guys, it really was nice. It was absolutely beautiful. You did what tonight? Uh, we all did it in turns. Yeah, Good made us all do. We all just kept swapping sections. Yeah. We, we all worked well. together as a team, and we all we, we all really like... clubbed together. It was great. You let me down tonight. No, oh, we've done we... you proud. I think. I thought yeah. we went very well down here. Went smoothly. Very professional. Tonight, for the first time in such a long time, I went and had a meal that I can't complain about at all. I can't. It, 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 fucking sex on a plate, guys. Remember, you're my boys, my girls. At the end of the end of the time, mine. But I need to know in the next two days what you're going to do in the <laughs> shop. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know, Richard. I fucking don't know. If you want to go and sit in a book shop, doing fuck all for the rest of your life, that's your decision. I said it was your decision when you wanted to But you know, the buy... bookshop's good for my degree. I can get my degree there. Got me by the shop and Curly's there, chef. <laughs> the team performed bloody well tonight. Without Richard. And Neil should look really close at that because that is a bad investment. I'm more than halfway through my week at the glass house. The good news is the kitchen team are doing really well. Last night, they cooked without their head chef, Richard, and did a great job. But Richard's still struggling, and Neil, the owner, isn't tough enough to get rid of him. Do you think he takes advantage of you because you're such a nice guy to work with? Sometimes, yeah, but then I think everyone takes advantage of me. He gets paid that amount of money yeah, each and every month, and it's a bloody good salary. Mm. But there doesn't seem to be any onus on, you know, evolving. Let's get better. He's got to make money. This is your livelihood. Yeah. This is, this I know is, it is. This is your, I this. And, your and, lease, your yeah. livelihood, your family, yeah. your yeah. money, and if this goes Did this up, go, yeah, then they've then, all buggered off and got yeah, a new job. I know that. And you're sat here yeah. in the shit. So you're taking a bit out for service, yeah? Myself? I've never put Richard back in the kitchen. Without him, it's a happier place. Serving better food, but it's Neil's decision. Do you now realise how much talent is in here? Yeah, the guys I've got, what I was saying to them last night, at the end of the day, we are a family and we've got to work it out. Uh, but you're the leader. You, you, you're yeah, the, you're the big eye, the big I'm inspiration. Dad. I want them to come on. So this slides to... back down. They'll slide back down. No, it's they're not slide back down. Okay. My next challenge, right, to relaunch the menu by the end of the week so the glass house can separate. start to win back its customers. Um, Maybe Richard will finally show me he can run the kitchen. As far as I'm concerned, it's his last uh, chance. Garlic. For the team, it's another yeah. opportunity to prove themselves. Yeah, good. And that's the most important thing about being a talented cook, you know that? Yeah. Having that inner strength to turn around and say, no, stop, no, that's not good no, enough. No. And what did we talk about yesterday? Mistakes staying where? In the kitchen, yeah. every time. And the minute you break that cardinal's rule and you start sending those mistakes, because you think the chef won't see it, yeah. I'm going to cane your ass. you know that? Yeah, I hate And, um, you know, like you said... They want to First step of the relaunch is to salad. cut down the menu. I want to give a little bit of twist on there. Yeah. And when I went through the, uh, the, the menus uh, last night, late last night, mm -hmm. 85 to 90 dishes. Yeah. How on earth we get to control that, you know, over, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of lot of gear on there, and no, I've not actually sat down and counted it. Uh -huh. If the menu's reduced, I and mean, we've got six starters, six main courses, and five or six puddings, mm -hmm. we're going to sell more of them. Yeah. And yeah. so the more we sell of them, mm. the cheaper it comes to make. Yeah. Especially when we're doing the lamb shanks. Yeah. 
I personally don't want to see frozen but lovely in brackets next to chips. If you don't put that, then the buggers turn around and go, it's a lovely meal, but I can't believe your chips are frozen. No, you're the only restaurant I've ever, ever come across that writes frozen but lovely. Hot fat. Okay. Vegetables in. As well as reducing the menu, we have to make sure the food's top quality. That's the team's job. So we roast them. Main course, local lamb. I've no doubt Claire can improve on the fatty lamb shank I had when I first ate here. That's what we're looking for there. That's exactly what we're looking for. But I want it all the way round, not just on the top. Hurry up, then we're going to make some bread and butter pudding, yes? The bread and butter pudding they used to serve here was pure stodge. My version should be perfect for the new menu. I put Craig in charge of the recipe. I hope to God he's up to it. What are we flavouring with this time? Uh, vanilla. Bailey's. Bailey's. So as it cooks, the whole thing is not becoming dry. Yeah? Okay, there we go. And my spies told me last week that we didn't even wash this lettuce for a Caesar salad. I don't want hands in there yet. And a dish they could become so famous for, itself. a classic Caesar salad. That's one for a year. Salad, so it's live. Look at the contour of the plates going round. So I'm putting the top part of the salad around the outside of the plate. We're going to lightly glaze the warm egg in the centre, parmesan, crispy bacon, and then nice crispy croutons around the outside. There you go. The new glass house, Caesar salad. Ah, fingers off. Look. Here. Wipe yeah. it. Yeah, A brand new menu and a fresh start. If all goes well, tonight we'll see the glass house reborn. 70 local people have been invited to try the new food. Everything, everywhere, has got to be just right. And I mean right. I mean perfect. Don't take this the wrong way. Yeah. And I mean don't take this the wrong okay, way. Yeah, go on. Last night you had bad breath. OK. Yeah? And when we're standing there talking to customers and you're trying to sell them something, yeah? It doesn't smell good. Even Richard seems to realise the importance of tonight's launch. Listen, I'm fired up. It's fucking going to work. Yeah? Yeah. Let's scream it. Let's fucking shout, Chef. When I call a check out, yeah? Wait yeah. for the end of the check. Yes, Chef! Yes. Yes, yes. yes. come on. We, oh. Chef! We're the oh. Chef! Looking at reducing the menu, Richard, and having um, slashed the prices, this is not an expensive dish to put together, is it? Not, no, not at all. Fresh fish, seasonal fish. I've designed the menu specially for Richard. Everything's cooked in advance, so there's no chance of a mistake. And the haddock cost absolutely nothing this morning. What was it 70 pence a pound? Yeah? Yeah. And it smells lovely. Sex on a spoon. Um, who have we got in uh, that we know tonight? Tabling of all the people locally that have been these bed breakfast. Well, there's quite a few in the media. Yeah. We've got the, one of the head guys from the tourism. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they want to contact you, so I'm you gonna, make, uh, make yourself available. I'm going to recharge my mobile, which I uh, turned off many months ago. Mm. Hallelujah. Neil's behaving like a proprietor with balls, proud of his restaurant. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. He's even booked the guests in shifts, so there's less pressure on the kitchen. Progress at last. We've just got everybody in by the 8 o'clock, so we've got 25 minutes. This is easy. Hello. We have never met. And in two minutes' time, our, our, our silence starts. Claire. Yes? If the kitchen is quiet, everyone can concentrate. Then it should be impossible to confuse orders. Oh no, come on, Randall. Randall, yeah. come here. We're supposed to be working together on this, aren't you? Sure. Richard's calling out orders and you're tipping cutlery upside down. You can at least wait till he's finished first, no? Sure. So once he's finished talking to his brigade, Yes, we can give him an answer. Well, oh, this lamb's definitely better off the bone. Really. Yes, it's melting. I've got parsnip. Roast parsnip. Your, fa your favourite. It's <laughs> <coughs> really good. Very, very smooth, so hopefully, touch wood, rest of the night, it'll be even better. Ian, yeah. I swap tables. You still have three Caesar salad and one pressed ham. Richard's back in charge of the kitchen. There's only food to reheat, and salad's the dress. The dressing's missing, that's all. 
Apart from that, it looks lovely. Do you mind if we start? <laughs> <laughs> Two pieces panchette, please. Thank you. Ian's destroyed Ian's destroyed. But it is Richard's job to check everything before it leaves the kitchen. Stop moving on your toes. Now! Yes! Yeah. Oh, good Great lads, time. good lads, come on. Let's not go down, guys. It's starting. Lift. Randall. He's making a lot of noise. At the front. But he's not leading the team. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, nail tables 49, 21 next. Orders are piling up again. Chef, we've got, we got to speed this up. Yes. We're looking bad. Not tonight, please. Not tonight. We're not losing it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Randall, quicker. Five fish pies. Two, three, four, five, six. Six total. Two at the front, Claire. Fifteen. No, that's them. Don't really know what the hell's going on in there, but, you know, let me just say, for the last three or four minutes, uh, being in there, it looks shockingly Randall. bad. Where's the check on, Claire? Forty-nine, it's up in the top. No, don't go. Forty-nine, yeah? You got the number? They really have managed to fuck it up properly again. And they don't have to cook anything except dress a salad and talk to each other. They can't even do that. So uh, this is a fucking embarrassment. Wait one second, listen. Yeah, that's fine. Take one Caesar salad out, please. Richard? Yes. Change the table number to 51. Richard, 51. Next. I'm not taking any prisoners anymore. I'm seriously not. People don't pull away, they're out of here. Because I'm not fucking about. I won. Table 12. Um, what's that there for, Rich? Neil may say he won't take prisoners, but surely he can see Richard can't cut it. But instead of plucking up the courage to sack his chef, he moans about my Caesar salad. You're not going to eat at all? Oh, too big. Too big? In comparison to what you were serving? Yeah, I know what we were serving, but the sauce with that is absolutely beautiful. The dressing is very rich. Absolutely. Um, Total bollocks. Right. That is a proper Caesar salad done. What I haven't done is crush the lettuce. And the shit I saw last right. week with cooked jumping on the salad I'm not and squashing it. No, let me finish. Squashing the salad up the side of the bowl, and you're telling me that's too big. That is fresh salad, beautifully washed, and I haven't even put my hands in it to dress it. I've let it dress itself in the bowl. So what you're telling me is absolute bollocks. And I'm ready for a fucking argument. Right now. You're talking out your ass. If you want an argument, if you want an argument. You're talking out your ass. Can we go outside I'll go anywhere. You're talking out your fucking ass. Can you stop talking? You're talking out your ass. There's no point talking to me. He's going to use that language in the restaurant. Oh, really? Amazing. He's got big enough bollocks to stand up to me, but he can't tell his own chef, who's paid 25 grand a year, that it's time he took his P45. We survived the evening, but only just. I shouldn't care, but I do like these guys, and I want the place to be a success. I am so distraught with Richard tonight. He couldn't organise it, couldn't control it, and you know what? He had nothing to bloody cook. It's my last day at the glass house. Hey, it's red tree time. Yeah? How far is it from here? It's around the corner. About two minutes. Yeah. The most important thing now um, is to tell the real workers they've done a great job. I didn't think I was actually capable of doing this week until he actually came. Uh -huh. But now I think that I've I'm just starting to get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. And we will keep the standards up because you've really done done a lot for the kitchen and you've done a lot for me personally as well. You've done it for yourself. All I've done is drawn it out of you, that's all. Got it in here. Yeah, out. yeah, uh, that's, that's it. All. That's You've done it. it. So I felt it today when I had my little time to myself. I just couldn't, couldn't help but just stand there and just go, bloody hell, this is me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't had any sleep no. since last night? No. My God. Why haven't you been sleeping? Just a drama, just the, the rush of the job. So, uh, the rush of yeah. the job? Oh, yeah. The inspiration I get from you. <laughs> you honestly haven't slept? No, honestly, I haven't. Bloody hell, Randall. This is not an SAS course, you know that. Randall, got to get some sleep, big boy. He so fired up, he hasn't slept. God, maybe we are related after all. Wood, 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 through. You have a natural touch with food, you know that. You walk around the kitchen like a ballerina. 
And just the way you position yourself, you're agile, you're on your toes. And I still can't believe you've been cooking for three months. Yeah. Right. Touch yourself. Just to get it. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of violence. I'm really going to miss Claire. Because your strength over the last seven days has been inspirational. I think I'm going to sell my shop. And I'm going to get it back into the kitchen as soon as possible. I think that's a good idea. Gordon Ramsay thinks I'm a really good chef. <laughs> oh, my God. Neil had a word. Well, you guys have a word every night after service. What did he say last night? He gave me the options, three options, and took the third one. Uh, what were the options? Well, one, one to leave, two to take a pay cut and a drop down the ladder and three to stay, work my arse off, develop the guys, carry on with what we've been doing over the last few days and, and go for it. Are you confident that you can become the new glass house chef? Yeah. Truthfully, how long will you give him to pull his socks up? A month. A month? Yeah. yeah. Just promise me one thing. Yeah. You make the fucking decision and you stick to it. No, I want more than anything in my heart for Richard to prove me wrong. And I hope he does. <laughs> Never let your mistakes leave your kitchen. Oh. Randall, I want you to hang that up That's with a bit of right? pride and passion. And I want that to replace that disgusting, dingy, horrible, yellow, smelly clock downstairs. Hey. Come on! Hey! Who's that, Chef? Three months have passed since I've spent a week at the Glass House restaurant trying to rescue it from disaster. Menu looks nice, nice and small. Whew. Now I'm back to see what, if anything, has changed. Hello, Neil. Hello, uh, Mr. Ramsey. How are you? How are you? Good nice to see you. Well? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Yeah? yeah. You look a lot more relaxed. Yeah, you look a little. I, I, you look happier. I, I'm a different person to the one that was here. It's, a, it's a different Neil to the first person you saw Good. when you came in. And I'm completely, I'm more confident. You know, I mean, you came in and you highlighted things that I, I kind of knew that they were there, but they were buried in the back of my head. You know, you brought them all to the forefront. Yeah. And, and, and I'm glad you did that. And but God, what a week, though. I mean, we went through a roller coaster. It was a hell of a week. We had our highs and our lows. Things were really grim when I first came here. Sadly, I did. And by grim, I mean catastrophic. Board, that was um, stuck at the back of my throat, but however. Rich is calling out orders, and you're tipping cutlery upside down. Yeah, I'm going to cane your ass, you know that? Yeah. Not tonight, please, not tonight. The kitchen team came into their own when I gave head chef Richard the night off. Good, 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 good. And bloody good. Let me ask you, you've got a pair of bollocks. Has it gone well without Richard? It's gone smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die trying. You're talking out your ass. I'll go anywhere. You're talking out your fucking ass. You, you know. hated my Caesar salad. I didn't I hate your <laughs> Caesar salad. It was just too bloody big. <laughs> I'll still stand by that. Um, the big question. Yeah. Who's the chef? Richard. Richard is still here. Yes. Is he downstairs? He's downstairs. I'm gonna get and him. he's nervous, so be oh, nice to him, yeah? Right, be nice. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning, Gordon. How are you, Richard? Very well, you. You well? Yeah, sound. One thing I have noticed, as soon as I walked in um, to the kitchen, is how these plastic containers start creeping back out everywhere. <laughs> Look at all them along there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're back. The new dishes that you've involved um, and, and put on the menu, what are they? We're doing a Telagio pomegranate risotto. Mm -hmm. uh, which that sounds is... intriguing. So we've got a crunchy pomegranate seeds yeah. mixed in risotto. Yeah. Um... Sounds fucking revolting. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Welcome back. This is a new dish that we put on. Tell me about it, that's a puff pastry. Yeah, we've got some red Trimmies. onion. Red onion over there, we've got mm -hmm. put goat's cheese on top of that. Nice to see Craig's bit cooking more. Over there. Yeah, and we sold about seven when we put it first on. Ian, what have you been doing new and exciting to tell me? Uh, got a toffee fruit crumble on now. Sells toffee well. fruit crumble? Yeah. It sounds good. Like come up with creme fraiche, no you can't. But that sounds really nice. It's yeah, winter in the middle yeah, of the lane district. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I thought Ian had real talent. I'd give him a job in one of my kitchens any day. And his girlfriend. And where's my sweetheart, Claire? Where, where is she? Uh, she had problems selling the shop. I couldn't get out of it. And uh, she's 
comes in at weekends, gives us a lift at weekends, keeps her hand in. It's a shame. She's a big loss. And my fellow Scott Randall. He's gone too. Sad. This is risotto with Telagio cheese, flat leaf parsley and pomegranate. Be nice to win, win him over. Neil's hung in there, but it can't have been easy. It's gone closer to the wire than I'd realised. How close were you to closing the door? Very close. The worst thing for me was like not being able to pay the guys. Like, at one stage, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be able to pay them. You know, and I think these guys, Shit. they put the effort in, they put the graft in, they've done everything there, and they've always been behind you. Um, and it's like suddenly you can't put any money in their pocket. And it's been a constant struggle. But it's like now I'm, I can actually say to myself, well, I'm going to start reaping the rewards. Mm -hmm. And I will do. You know, and I'm a lot more positive about it. In fact, January has been fantastic. Weekends have been busy. You know, there is a difference in the food, you know. Presentation, it just looks mm. slick. It tastes, you know, tasty. Well, thank you. You're still a bugger. Still not convinced about my pomegranate risotto. Are you not? That's going to think about that one <laughs> on the train on the way back, because that, yeah. That beats my fucking head in, that one. Um, it's been a pleasure today. It's been of interest. Um, keep it up. Clink, yes? Clink. Yeah. Clink. There's lots to celebrate. Turnover's up 20% and rising. The restaurant's building a good reputation and going from strength to strength. You never know. Neil's nervous breakdown might never happen. <laughs> when you come back, just book on someone else's name. Sorry? Yeah. That's it now. Every bloody name that books will be going. Guy sounding funny on the phone. I'm it's telling you, it's Gordon! <laughs> God, I really hope they succeed. And I really hope they do well. But any chef that comes up with a risotto finished with bloody pomegranate needs a kick up the arse. Again. Pomegranates in a fucking risotto. They must be off their fucking rocket. <laughs> <laughs>